Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the SAR P8L, full size 9mm handgun, all steel frame, and a nice shooter. I've taken it to the range already and I was thoroughly impressed with the way it performed. SAR USA made their mark, I think they did, with the SAR 9. Budget 9mm handgun, a lot of people picked this up during the COVID days and all that and they... they got back with me and said they really enjoy this handgun. It became extremely well known. And then about a year and a half ago, they came out with the P8L. They also make this with a stainless slide as well as a P8S for short with a 3.8 inch barrel. This has a 4.6 inch barrel and they kept it budget priced right around $529. That's what I paid for it at guns.com. And if you go with this, you'll get a Plastic case with the manual, two 17 round mags, a bore brush, a rod, a tool, and everything you need to take apart the handgun. But I actually think it's very cool. Now it does align well with the CZ SP01, feature wise anyways, and we're going to check that out. But I already mentioned two 17 round magazines. You can see it has some lightning cuts in the slide as well as... It has a ported barrel. So the shooting is extremely soft, especially with a heavy gun like this. The shooting is very soft anyways, but you add that to it and it's like nothing. Like seriously, it's like shooting a 22. It does have rubber grips there. Nice solid feel on the pistol. Double action, single action. The sights are three dot, rear adjustable sight, pinned in front. They, they say this is interchangeable. I don't, I'm not sure what it's interchangeable with. But I imagine you could throw a night sight on there. And a solid shooting handgun. Does have a thumb safety here. Okay, for those that want to carry cocked and locked, it will lock up the trigger. And then, just like that, you're good to go. Now, the trigger I am measuring at 4.5 pounds in single action, which is, it actually it's the same as the CZ SP01 in so many ways. This gun is very similar, including the reset right there. Double action pull is, is very heavy, as expected. But a solid pistol, there's no, no question about that. And I really do think, sorry USA, they, they are onto some things here. Because they are putting out some nice handguns. I mentioned the CZ SP01. Here it is. This also has rubber grips, 4.6 inch barrel. This has a rail, the... P8L does not. This has some forward serrations. This has vents in the lightning cuts in the in the slide. But the one thing that people should know is that this has an 18 round mag and it will work just fine. So we could say for all intents and purposes that this is a CZ copy like so many other manufacturers have done. They copied the CZ handguns and the weight is similar as well. This is a little bit lighter and I have to credit that to the lightning cuts in the slide. Let's go ahead and get it on the scale. It has performed very well as I expected. It's unloaded weight. You're looking at two pounds, six and five eighths ounces. You move that to just ounces. 38 and a half, 38 five eighths, same deal. Here are 18 rounds, 46 and an eighth ounce. So there's no doubt it is a heavy pistol just for fun. Let's put the CZ SP01 on there, 48 and a half. So a little bit lighter. I have to credit that, that weight difference to the lightning cuts most likely. But it also breaks down just like a CZ. It has that indentation in the slide and the frame. All you have to do is align those, pull the slide back just a little bit. I could try to push it out with my finger, but it is extremely tight. And you've seen this before. You use the bottom of the mag and push it out just a little bit to remove that pin. Off comes the slide. Full length frame rails. All steel guide rod, uncaptured recoil spring, and a 4.6 inch barrel. And there's your slide. Very nice 
the handgun, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I, I figured I would be. I didn't expect any issues. I was shooting 124 grain NATO loads with it, which is a good thing to do with many of these foreign made pistols. Pull it back like this and push it in. Breaks down like the CZ SP01. Kind of looks the same as the SP01. Both very heavy. Am I saying it's better than this? Nope. Not saying that at all. I've had this a long time now. I just picked this up and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Overall, it's got a very nice feel. Nice shooting impressions. I like the 17 rounds. I like the idea that you could use CZ mags. I've got a ton of those. I've got some Metgar mags that I think are 20 rounds. So that, that offers some options with this handgun. But I think Sard's onto something here. I think they're they're doing a great job and they are getting the attention needed in the gun world to really showcase their handguns and I think this P8L is doing the trick for many people. You can see the trigger is very much rounded, easy disassemble and overall nice feel and shooting impression. So there it is. I plan to do more with this, take it to the range, perhaps some comparisons and so forth, but the P8L is doing it for me so far. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.